All right, uh, fellow Wom. Uh, of course, you know, first and foremost, you know, I have to give all praise to Yahweh, uh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the only begotten Son of the world, uh, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, I'm actually in transit right now, um, but I just want to, uh, I guess we could say, do a little, I guess we could say, analysis, if that makes sense of a conversation that I had the other day with, um, you can all tell him by his infamous, you know, profile picture here, my guy, you know, mine of God, um, which if anybody is interested in watching the, um, the discussion we had, you can go to his YouTube page and you'll see the video was uploaded a few days ago with the same picture, okay? Or, if I remember, I'll leave a link in the comment section down below. But if it's not there for whatever reason, go to his page. His YouTube page is the, uh, the mind of God. Um, so initially what it was, which, you know, it was, it was ironic how it worked out. Because, um, you know, that day I was actually, you know, I slept in that day. So I actually got up, like, say, five minutes before Mighty God was doing this thing. I didn't do that deliberately. Because I remember a few days before he was going live. Because he put up the... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? He said he was going to premiere it. Or I should say stream it. For lack of better words. On the... What was it? I believe it was the 20th. Um, but he, start, he put up the uh, notification, so to speak. On, let's say, the 16th. Okay? So, um, now a few days before I was like... You know, damn, but, you know, I wish I could, you know, get on there, you know, with them. It's probably been about, I want to say, probably about a year and a half since we last had a, um, you know, a discussion. Um, so I, uh, like, I, uh, I inside joke. Um, so, you know, I remembered that. So I was like, damn, I mean, you know, I wish I could get on there with the guy. You know, it'd be good to, you know, chat with him for a little bit. It's been, like, as I said, a year and a half since we last had a phone call discussion, you know, on YouTube. So, uh, you know, what ended up happening was, uh, you know, he was on there with another guy. Not sure if I remember the name. I'm, I don't believe it was the Mies Kang. Could have been, though. Um, which also, Mies Kang, me friend, you strike was weak, just in case you're watching. Um... But anyway, I decided to click the link, right? right it, it stands a Kari joke. Click the link, side joke. But, uh, which, you know, I got to get on there for that, uh, you know, that live stream they were doing. But that's another story. I'm not going to get off onto that right now, okay? Um, that's a story in itself. But anyway, um, what ended up happening is, like, you know, I clicked the link. You know, we, uh, you know, we had a sincere, uh, conversation. And we had a very friendly, you know, discussion, you know, about the, uh, you know, about the, uh, you know, scriptures and, you know, the stuff we, you know, disagreed with, right? You know, primarily the topic, you know, one of the main, you know, topics of discussion between me and this individual would be, um, of course, the topic of, um, you know, the virgin birth, right? Was Christ, you know, actually born of a, you know, a virgin or, you know, a man and a woman, right? So that's the, uh, you know, the discussion that he really wanted to, you know, have with me. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, we talked about it for a little bit. I would say, you know, he, he gave me a run for my money. I'll say that. He, uh... Or in other words, as I like to say, you know, he hit me with a few shells. I'll admit that. He put up a decent argument. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'd say, I would say I still got the upper hand, if that makes sense. Um, I think here. Um, you know, besides that, which as I said, was, you know, a humble, you know, uh, the conversation, right? Very respectable and, you know, as I said, man, you know, if there's, let me make it 
this easy, all right? And a poor ass bastard like myself, you know, can't uh, you know, afford to give nice things to other people. But if I had to put it into perspective, my respect for this individual, I would say this way. Okay, there's only, there's only a handful of people out there who I, you know, ETT, would buy a, you know, a damn $5 Red Bull for, right? Anybody else gets that cheap, you know, uh, 50 cent or 25 cent damn dollar store soda, all right? But my man, mind of God, that guy, that guy gets, um, that damn, uh, you know, $5 Red Bull, man, all right? That's, I'd, I'd buy that guy damn $5 Red Bull right out of my pocket, all right? But anyone else, you know, besides, let's say, for example, my, my guy, um, you know, Jonathan, right, rock upon him. Um, you know, even Sacramento, that guy might be coming up. You know, which he don't know too much. Um, you know, of course, you know, the elders, you know, Great Millstone, which much, much respect, you know, is uh, is due to those men, right? You know, sincere shalom, you know, to those, you know, brothers. And, you know, of course, you know, the deacon of Zakari and, um, you know, Gorilla Hebrew and... Uh, you know, Hesad, right? All those cats are worthy of getting a damn five dollar Red Bull. Right, five dollar, hey, look, man, from my hood, man, five dollars that that shit's you know, that's damn food for the next three days, man. Where I'm from, ah, damn, I'm, I'm not even being sarcastic, I'm dead serious when I say that. But, um, you know, just to you know, put into perspective, so to speak, my uh, let's say respect. For, um, you know, that individual, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, you know, and I, I believe, you know, because I'm trying to, uh, you remember the whole conversation that was had because I, I rewatched the video. I believe another subject that we, uh, you know, that we, we went back and forth on was, you know, the whole thing about, um, uh, the salvation for the, uh, you know, the other nations, man, right? Because, you know, we don't know our stance, right? We stand on the premise that, um, you know, Christ or, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, only came to give salvation to the, you know, the Israelites, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, you know, Native Americans, and, you know, confusion of face, you know, such as myself. Okay, but uh, other nations such as, you know, Esau, the so-called white man, or, um, you know, the Moabites, you know, so-called Chinese. Or, you know, the uh, the Arabs, right? Which, you know, cats out there be saying that those guys are the Edomites. That's going off. Um, but, you know, we had a, we had a discussion about it. He, he went off because he was basically trying to say, uh, if my memory serves me correct, he was trying to say that all nations can be saved. Now, he can correct me down below because maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. But if my memory serves me correct, he um, was saying that. Okay, so, hey, my buddy, if you're watching, and if I went off and uh, you did not say that, well, then just, uh, you know, let me know down below and we'll, you know, clear that up. All right, but, you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, it was a very respectful, you know, conversation. Okay, and you know, me and this guy, we go back a good, I want to say maybe three years, two and a half, three years. Um, so, you know, as I said, I, you know, certain guys out there like, uh, you know, the loving Christian, you know, me and that guy, and eh, probably been, you know, I guess we could say acquaintances, if that makes sense, for probably about five years now. So, you know, after a while you gain, you know, respect for certain individuals. I'll give an example, man. Um, you know, Elder Apostle Dahar, you know, he, uh, you know, has some, some type of respect for, um, you know, vocab Malone. All right. And I remember that because I was, um, I remember watching uh, one of their street teaching videos going back maybe probably a year and a half ago now where vocab came down to the, uh, you know, the camp where the apostles were, and, you know, he, he, you know, was talking with them there, and, um, you know, they pretty much, uh, 
I guess you could say I came to an agreement, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, with that being said, with that being said, you, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You come to, uh, I guess you could say, for lack of better words, a sort of a respect for, um, you know, certain of these individuals that you, you know, might interact with. Um, you know, or, you know, as this guy would call him, you know, a acquaintance, which basically just means that, um, it's not necessarily somebody you're a friend with, but not necessarily an enemy, if that makes sense. Or as I like to call them, uh, frenemies. That's an inside joke. Shout out to anybody who knows where I got that from. But I mean, it's true though, right? I would, you know, um, say that's a, let's say decent, um, you know, outlook on what I would say we were. All right. So, uh, you know, as I said, you know, in the brief summary, in the brief summary, I would say we had a very uh, respectful, you know, conversation. And as I said, you know, he definitely knows some stuff. He don't know too much, but he definitely knows a, a decent amount. Then, and I'll give him that. So, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to, you know, share some faults about that real quick. And, um, you know, that's going to be the uh, the video.